In Hancock County faces criminal charges for threatening to kill highway department workers. And prosecutors say it started in a dispute over flowers. News aides Katie Wisely is here to explain why they decided to file charges. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Prosecutors say this situation was taken to the next level very quickly and could potentially be harmful if they didn't pursue any charges. This is 69 year old James Kane. He faces one charge of intimidation, a class A misdemeanor. The probable cause affidavit says Kane came into the Hancock. County Highway Building on June 18th, upset about the county mowing over his flowers along the side of the street. Kane threatened to cause physical harm to the person who did it, saying if it happened again, he would, quote, get his rifle and shoot them. Prosecutors backing the highway department, saying it's important to make sure the right of way is clear and other cars can see clearly before making a turn. You hear often about other instances where government employees um, have been uh, threatened or even someone has gone into a municipal building and have attacked other individuals. Um, the facts in the probable cause affidavit would leave, I think, any normal person concerned. But I think because of society currently, um, that could lead to an elevated uh, concern for an employee of a government building. Prosecutors are also asking for a protective order and possibly a stay away order from the highway department. Kane faces up to 365 days in the Hancock County Jail or a $5,000 fine. Now, he did bond out just at the end of last week. He is due back in court in August, and this is a story that we will, of course, continue to follow. Kylie, Andrew, back to you. All right, Katie.